Okay, here's what we're doing. We're doing a sugar foot stance today. Okay, sugar foot stance. This is basically a staggered stance. I got inspired. I did some uh, um, some zooming with uh, Yanni Diakmahalis the other day, and I got inspired. He's working on some misdirection stuff, and I got sort of thinking more about the sugar foot stance and to how to teach it and how to develop it and make it make what he's doing more simple. Okay, so um, sugar foot stance. Really, it's just your staggered stance. Right, yeah, that was kind of an old school term, you know, a boxing stance, sugar foot stance, okay? Or if I'm in a staggered wrestling stance, they used to call that a sugar foot stance. When I, when I think of sugar foot, I'm actually thinking of the trail leg, okay? And how we would slide this trail leg up underneath us to give us the, um, the power and the stretch and the, the, uh, the, uh, the, our leg underneath us to have the power to actually shoot. If we have our foot already extended or we're too far apart, now we have no more potential energy. When I'm, my leg's underneath me, I have potential energy when I extend this hip and I can fire forward and, and shoot into my opponent. So, sugar foot. It's not different than what you've probably already been doing. We've already done a lot of jabbing. So we work on a lot of swishing your feet and jabbing as you move into your opponent. That is basically a sugar foot. But I just want you to be more conscious of your troll leg and keeping that in a position so now we can start to add things to it, right? So if I'm in my staggered stance and my sugar foot when my troll leg comes up underneath me, now I can step, okay? Now I can step and I can come back out of that position and I want to be able to do that quickly, okay? Just like when we're lifting weights, we can't get clumsy, we can't get, uh, um, we can't fall. We have to have a lot of control of our body. So as I step into this, I have to control eccentrically as I load and I carry my weight and I can come back out of that and, and do it gracefully, right? Same thing if I was gonna go swing single or like a snatch single, I might be here and now I'm on a diagonal step. I'm on a diagonal step and I'm gonna come back. But my sugar foot's coming up underneath me, right there, okay? I could go high crotch. Same feel, I'm right here, and my sugar foot comes under. Now I might be stepping forward, it's more of an inside step feel. Sugar foot, boom, right there, okay? So the first drill is just to bring your sugar foot up and step, and then step back out of it. So if I was to go away from the camera, if I'm gonna go outside step, I'm a lefty, I'm a left-handed wrestler, so I'm gonna take an outside step, swing or snatch single, I'm gonna go sugar foot step, okay? And I'm gonna go back. And I'm gonna play play with this. Play this, this, play this, this, bounce, boom, step, step back. Okay? Do it straight forward, inside step, do it outside step or swing single, do it high crotch step. Okay? High crotch is still straight, double, high crotch, okay. Get used to picking that troll leg up. Cave work, work on it. Yeah, good, good. I like that. In and out. Take it, take it snatch single. You can throw your hands and leg a little bit. Like, go to a lot, go to a lot on the swing. Good. And slow down a little bit where you're gonna go really purpose, purposefully. Step, freeze. Step, freeze. Step, freeze. Okay, play that. Nice, come back out. Use that sugar foot. Okay. Okay. Want to do it a lot, right? And we can drill all these little footwork things. Really, what we want to do is make it so our body can move independently. When you move and you move, you switch your feet. You don't have all your weight here, and you're not falling forward. You don't have all your weight back. You don't shift position. I can hold 60, 40. I can hold 40, uh, 60, 40 this way. Okay, I can hold 50, 50 on, my, on the balls of my feet. So now we'll think about the misdirection. Think about the misdirection of putting in the actual shot single leg. So if I'm gonna misdirect a right hand to a left hand single or a left hand to right hand. So now there's an extra step. So. I'm gonna start right-handed, I'm gonna sugar foot, I'm gonna sugar foot, and I'm gonna step, right. Okay, but now I'm gonna sugar foot, step, step. Sugar foot, step, step. 
and let go. Sugar push. Step. Step. And I want to make the first one threatening. I want to threaten. Wrestling. Threaten. There it is. Working on that footwork, that's not easy. That's going to give you a lot of dexterity with your legs, a lot of coordination, a lot of control, a lot of strength. Do it. Start here, start low. Okay, so now we'll use the Swedish method of training. So we'll lift and we'll lift with our legs and work on our glutes and work on keeping our knees bent. And then we do a lift, then we'll work on a misdirection, an explosive, okay? Whatever feels most comfortable to you, whether it's that step step or whether it's a sugar foot step step, okay? Play with it. 